Hi, this is Larry with Mag Titan, and today I'm going to give you a tour of Mag Titan. And here we are right on our dashboard page. So if you're starting off with a trial, this is what you're going to see. And in the center section, this is the most important part. It's the get started four step. So if you want to create your first project and get going, this is exactly the steps you follow. It'll walk you right through it. You just start on the green start and follow step by step, and that's the best way to get going. Also, on the right-hand side, you're going to see some videos that will be very helpful to you as you start up. Now, I've switched over to show you a dashboard that you will see once you've completed your trial with us. And it's similar, but on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of quick links that allows you to get in and start whatever kind of document you want quickly. Um, on the center section, you still have the quick start. On the right-hand side, you'll be able to get into your documents really, really quickly. So there's just quick links. So it's really kind of a, a nerve center, if you will, of jumping to different places within the program. Now, let's look up here at the top. And I want to go through tab by tab. So there's five tabs at the top. The second one here is My Projects. And this is where all of the information related to your projects is kept. And we'll go in detail in that in a second. The Buy area is where you can purchase additional MagTitan services. Inside your account, you'll be able to get all your membership details and see all of your purchases and change your password and things like that. And then finally, we have our support center where you can access our knowledge base and contact the support staff. Now, let's go into My Projects. When you enter the My Projects area, you will see these tiles for all of your projects. And remember, a project is nothing more than a bucket that can hold a type of document, such as a magazine, newsletters, brochures, sales presentations, whatever you want to classify it as. When you look at these tiles, you'll, it's like a mini control panel. You'll see the functionality that's very self-explanatory, so you can access any of them with a click. Most of the time, you'll want to go right into the Access Document Library because that's going to allow you to the editing place where you're going to edit and create your content for the publication that you're working on. What I want to also call your attention to is up here on the left-hand side. So when you want to create a new project, add a new project, you just click that, follow the little wizard, and it will allow you to create a new project very simply and very easily. Now, let's start by going into Home Service Max. So I'm going to click Access Document Library. And here we are in the All Documents area for Home Service Max. This area gives you a quick view of all of the documents that are in this particular project bucket. So you can see here's the current issue, which is Home Service Max 11. And if I scroll down, you can see that here are all of the archive issues. Now, all of these have the same structure where you can click the assembly button. And that we're going to do in a second is going to take you into where you actually build the publication, you can get a quick link to go and visit it, or you can change the settings. Here on the left-hand side is the Add New Document button, and you just click that and follow the steps when you want to add a new document to your project. For now, let's go into the assembly area. Now, if you look up here, these are the breadcrumbs that help you to kind of understand where you are. You're in My Projects, we're in the project named Home Service Max, we're in the document named Home Service Max 11, and now we're in the Document Assembler, which is where the articles, this is what we call the articles that make up this particular document. We call this area the Document Assembler because that's all that you can do right here. You can assemble the articles into your document that you've already created. And for example, let's just, I'm just going to remove this cover. Now, before we would have assembled it, all of the articles that you see here on the left-hand side would have been here as part of the library. Now, then you get to choose to add and in what order to your publication. So I'm going to click Add, and when, it, uh, when I do it, it throws it over here into my lineup. It puts it at the bottom, and now I'm going to just move it up here to, let me scroll up and move it up one more. So it's right in place. I click Update and now it's part of my live document. So that's why you're assembling your document here. Now, if you want to share your document, which you're eventually going to want to do, you get those URLs right here. So if you click the share URL, you'll see uh, the link. You can click and visit it. You can copy it. Here's the embed code where this can be embedded on any 
web page. So that's all under share URLs. And obviously, you're going to want to create uh, uh, pages for your documents, and there are a couple tools to help you do that. First, you can have them pre-designed. So here, there's pre-designed templates in there for you. You can copy them from things that you've previously done. Uh, but most of the time, you're going to use one of these three methods using our new article wizard, which uses templates to help you design really, really quickly your articles. You could use our full builder, which gives you a lot of flexibility and more functionality, or you can outsource the design to the Mag Titan team. I'd highly recommend that you go through some of our other tutorials that show you how to use the wizard and show you all around the builder. They're very powerful tools. Here in this tour, at least now you know this is exactly where you're going to go to start building your pages. Now that we've gone pretty deep into the project part of the website, let's go over the other three tabs quickly just so you get a full uh, viewing of your account. In the Buy tab here, you'll see that we have a range of design services ranging from creating templates to doing full issues, advertising, mini issues. Uh, that's all listed there. We have circulation services, and we have editorial services. So you can go in here and read about them and order whatever you want. Under My Account, you can see here what's listed. You can get your membership details, account information, review your purchases, change your password, or if you're an agency, you can open up your agency module. The last tab is our Support Center. And here there are a number of resources for you. The first is our Help Center. So we have a, a complete knowledge base that's searchable. You come in here, you type whatever you're looking for, and in most cases, we're going to have an article for it. If we don't, if it's a tech support issue, I'd recommend coming to our ticketing system here where you use email. You uh, type in detail what's going on. Uh, there's a place to attach an image if uh, that would help us to see specifically what's happening for you. Our tech team gets these. They respond directly to you. Or you can live chat with us or call us. So there are lots of different ways to get help should you ever need it. So that's our tour. Hopefully it will make sense. I invite you to explore just Tour around because when you play around a little bit and just click and, and find things, it's the best way to learn. You're not going to break anything. So have fun with it and let us know if you need any help.